design your own life. With Dima Satya Lismana. Subscribe, tekan tombol bell, share dan like videonya ya guys. Terima kasih. Have you seen the movie The Secret or have you read the book The Secret? Now maybe you have heard of the law of attraction and you wonder exactly what it is and you wonder does this actually work? Does the law of attraction work? You see, believe it or not, law of attraction is not some complicated magical ritual or some, some mysterious ancient secret. It's actually very, very simple. I want you to think of like gravity is an unchanging law of the universe, gravity. When I throw something in the air, it will drop to the ground. When you jump off a building, you will hit the ground. That's the law of gravity. You see, law of attraction is no different. It is simply the ability to attract into our lives whatever we are focusing on. In basic terms, all thoughts turn into things eventually, and what you focus on expands, just like gravity. To understand law of attraction, first you have to understand this, that you always attract into your life the people, the things, the resources, the ideas in harmony with your dominant thoughts. It means that you always attract people into your life in harmony with your current experience, knowledge, and wisdom. It means that your life only gets better when you get better. It means that as a salesperson, if you want to increase more sales, you want to close more deals, and you want to increase your income, you will only do that if you become better. You want to become a better manager. You will only become a better manager if you become better. You only become a better father only if you become better. So today, I want to share with you four strategies on how to actually apply law of attraction in your life. Not touchy-feely, not theory, not woo-woo-foo-foo, tree-hugging theories. I'm talking about how it actually works. How to use the law of attraction to create the life that you desire. Strategy number one, and that is confirmation bias. You see, as a human being, we seek information that confirms what we already believe. What does that mean? It's very simple. You see, have you ever had this experience? I remember back then, my first dream car was the Master RX-8, the red RX-8. I remember that that was my dream car uh, that I had it on my vision board. I look at that every single day. You see, what's very interesting is the minute I put the car on my vision board, suddenly I notice Mazda everywhere I go. Everywhere, I see a Mazda 3, I see the hatchback, I see the, the RX-8, I see different colors. I'm like, wow, everyone drives a Mazda. But is it true or is it simply confirmation bias? that because that's what I focus on, suddenly I could see more. Or were they always there, but I just didn't notice them? That's how our brain, this is how our mind works. You see, we all have a filter. We all have this filter. Every piece of information that goes through, right, that comes through our mind, we have this filter. This is your confirmation bias. If it confirms, if we affirms what you already believe, you will take that in. If it doesn't, you will ignore it, or you will fight, you will argue. It's everything to do with your belief, how you see the world, your world view. That's it. Some people can take the information that I teach and go out there, start a new business, take the business to the next level, make six-figure income, make seven-figure income. Some people could take my information and not do a damn thing with it, not do anything with it and say, this is bullshit. Strategy two, how I make law of attraction works in my life, and that is I notice things, but I don't pay attention to it. Now, one time we were at the penthouse and it was raining outside, heavy, heavy rain. I was looking over the windows and I was looking out there, I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm like, look at the dark cloud, look at the pouring rain, like so depressing. And then the Jenny walks by and she's looking at the windows and she's like, oh, it's so romantic. I'm like, romantic? 
like, what are you talking about? Look at this. This is bad. Like, we can't go out. This is like pouring rain. Damn Vancouver, right? She's like, no. Look, look at the mountains. Look at, look at those. Like, look at that. Look at the light. And this is so romantic. I'm like. Are you and I looking at the same thing? What is going on here? Well, we are looking at the same thing. The difference is that she saw beauty, and I saw dark cloud. It is the same scenario. See what you focus on expands. It's like the filter I was talking about. Most people attempt to change their lives with more information without upgrading your filter. Jenny and I, we have a different filter. You see, you have to realize this: that it is not what happens to you, but how you think about what happens to you that determines how you react and how you feel. It is not the world outside of you that dictates your circumstances or your conditions. It is the world inside of you that creates the conditions of your life. So you could choose: do you want to give it attention? Or do you not want to give it attention? When you go home, when you complain about your work, when you complain about your business, guess what? You go home, you complain to your spouse. Oh my God, today job, the work, the job is so bad, it's horrible. You are reliving that experience. You're giving it energy. Your brother-in-law, your brother, your sister calls you, and you, oh man, let me tell you about how horrible work is today. You were living that again. You are giving it energy. Yes, it has already happened, but you can choose if you want to give energy to it. And that's how you activate the law of attraction. The more you give energy to something, the more you attract those things and those circumstances into your life. Strategy number three. Now, when you're not giving attention, that's good, but then slowly and progressively. Even eliminate noticing it, not even noticing it. You see, you have to understand the the universe in some way is kind of a little bit rigged against us. That's correct. Let me prove to you. Here's a garden. Now, when you plant roses, what do you get? What do you get? Comment below. You get roses, right? Now, when what happens if you don't plant anything and you don't take time? To even take care of the garden, you don't even pay attention to it. What happens? Weeds grow. So it is not the case that if you don't plant something, nothing will happen. No, it's rather the case when you don't plant anything, weeds grow, and that's how our mind works. So if you're not constantly feeding your mind, I call that mind feed. If you don't constantly feed your mind with positive motivation, inspiration, something. Something that moves you towards your goals, practical, useful information to feed your mind. If you're not doing that constantly, weeds grow. Strategy number four: What you say to yourself becomes your self-fulfilling prophecy. So I want to ask you a question. I want you to comment below. Share with me one of your goals, maybe two or three of goals. Sometimes I will hear people share their goals with me, and they will say something like this, and say. I want to be successful. I want to be successful, or I want to be a millionaire. I want to be a millionaire. I want to be a millionaire. Well, guess what? What you say becomes your self-fulfilling prophecy. When you say that enough, guess what? You will get very, very good at wanting, wanting to be successful. Think of the universe. Think of the universe as kind of like a person that. You are telling universe, "Hey, I want to be successful. I want to be a millionaire." The universe is like, "Great, your wish is my command." And the universe is like, "Okay, I'll grant your wishes." So guess what? Your whole life you're wanting and wanting and wanting and not having. And then you keep asking the universe. The universe is like, "What the heck do you want? I want to give you what you want. You say you want it. I just give you. You don't say you are. You just say you want." Change your vocabulary. I am successful. Not I want to be. I am a great salesperson. I am a great entrepreneur. I'm a great father. I'm a great son. Right? I'm a great husband. I'm a great wife. I'm a great daughter. I am a millionaire. Now, I'm not saying that 
Dan, are you saying that I go out there and, and even though I'm struggling, am I lying to people that say I'm a, a millionaire? No, this is not an external communication. It is an internal communication. What you say to yourself all the time in your mind. Can you see yourself being that? Are your habits, your behaviors, your actions, are they congruent with who you are? I said, you cannot be a millionaire with $50,000 a year habit. You first need to see yourself being that person first before you will get the results. Not get the results first, oh, then I'll see myself doing that. Oh, I, I, if once I get a million dollars, then I'll see myself as a millionaire. No, it's the other way around. That's how the law of attraction works. You need to see yourself acting, thinking, behaving, not blowing money, I'm talking about your mindset. Acting, behaving, thinking, taking action, doing things, operating like a millionaire before the results, before the money gets deposited into your bank account. Does that make sense?